Well, hi all, and welcome to another quick tip. This quick tip is all about making a motion poster inside of DaVinci Resolve for release 14. And uh, these motion posters are really popular nowadays. Can't miss it uh, when you go to the cinema and you see all these lovely uh, posters of your favorite movies or movie nowadays. It feels like Harry Potter, actually. So what we need is some footage with some green backdrop some extra footage to put in a video track below. Um, so what we're gonna do is get rid of the green backdrop with the qualifier. And that will give us a little uh, little alpha channel. Um, and we're gonna get rid of these little ugly corners over here uh, with a power window. This footage combined with the alpha channel and then laid over on top of this nice little playground area inside of the edit room will give us this result combined with a nice title as well. So keep calm and let's do some demo. So basically I want to start working on these three uh, assets. So I'm going to select them. And the cool thing is in release number 14 is that you can drag and drop them from your finder window into your media pool. And that will give you your imported selection right in your media pool. So that's really uh, an easy thing. Um, and of course my uh, motion poster will be uh, standing up. So it's going to be a portrait mode and a landscape mode. So I need to alter my, uh, my project settings. And of course, when I select my footage, I can see the uh, resolution of my uh, footage over here. So I need to go into my uh, project settings and alter these, uh, these pixels over here, resolution. Um, so I'm going to work with 1080 and 2048. And when I hit save, it will make uh, sure that it's going to be a portrait mode. And of course, I need to uh, rotate my footage uh, later on. Um, but that's, uh, that's no problem at all. So I'm going to go to the edit screen and import all three of my assets. Um, of course, my background needs to be on the lowest layer. On top of that, I can use my student over here, alter the length a bit. And actually, I don't need the audio, so I can Alt select the audio and get rid of it with Backspace. Beautiful. And then on top of that, let's make some more space. I can add my logo. And of course, all these three things need to work together. Um, so first off, let's rotate the student. So I need to go to the inspector and rotate my student for 90 degrees in order for it to stand up correctly and then zoom in a bit and make a bit of my composition maybe something like that a bit higher that would be cool and now we need to go into the color room to get rid of the green screen uh, the green backdrop so let's go into the color room and in order to get rid of the green backdrop we need to select the correct clip there we go um, and it's going to happen on this little note over here little serial note hit the qualifier and with the qualifier we can select the color uh, but actually if you lo look closely there are multiple colors of green so when I go into the 3D qualifier I can select a range of green colors maybe something like this um, and that will give me a really nice green selection it's going to be the inverted selection because now when i look at the footage with the highlight selected it will get rid of my student instead of the green screen so i need to invert my selection there we go and now when I check my student, well, everything looks perfect over here. Um, I need to get rid of the, the, uh, the rubbish, the garbage uh, on top of it. So when I uh, add a power window, I can select the curve power window. Make a selection. Maybe zoom out a little bit in order to make it. There we go. Now again, my student is disappearing. But I can invert that selection as well, and that gives me a nice result. Uh, and to make the, the edges a little bit better, um, I can make sure that the outside of my power window is smoothed a little bit with softness. So that's basically the thing that I need to do. Um, 
and now all I need to add is an alpha channel or actually an alpha output in order to see my uh, my playground footage uh, behind her so I'm gonna right click add an alpha output there we go and now when I select this little triangle over here and connect it to the output the alpha output it will show me my playground behind her and everything will be perfect so now when I go back to the edit room it will show me my final result and of course I can alter a bit of the colors inside of the color room uh, to make it a sort of more believable thing um, that things are meant to be together so maybe dial out a little bit of the situation of this clip so situation backwards a bit and of course I can play around with the colors as well so this is the basic setup of making a little uh, motion poster with some easy to use uh, keying options inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. Have fun with it and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye bye for now. See you again in another quick tip.